Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so I can cover this gap. Good. I'll so they the got one brain for two. One is super dumb, and the other one seems okay. The rotten okay. boards won't support much weight. One yeah. step on them, and they'll give way. I don't know, but they're half brothers. There was some high percentage stuff in there, but the flagons are all empty. Reminds me, need to find out ogre the whole somewhere magic else. from Dota. Oh, I haven't played Dota yet. I'm not really into um, mobas that much. Greetings, lost. Ah, welcome. What are you reading there exactly? Oh, it's a really fascinating book about the newest developments in chain lightning research. Oh, what yellow pawn? You know, a maze always, it always has to keep happens up to date. when you're around. Unfortunately, I don't have many opportunities to read in peace. Is there a way to take that his weapon and then take his plate so he won't be able to hit you? So that means yeah, I'm not sure. Then I use it. Like I have a guide open to help me I on occasion because I have I gotten stuck, it. but I'm trying to figure it out. You two seem very different. One doesn't have much choice. And it's far from uncommon for two-headed ogres to have very different interests. Dump to death! I bet you guys argue a lot. We have our rules. Blount specifies what we do in the morning, and I have the afternoons. I need to get going. See you next time. It was an absolute pleasure to have a conversation that wasn't about digestion and killing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Apologies once again. Oh! The shield's covered in all kinds of unappetizing ogre food. The ogres don't seem to know. So, is there anything else Apologies. I can do? Oh! Doesn't look like I can. Apolog oh. Apolog oh! Yeah, yeah. Huh. So now what? The boards are so rotten, they'd give way. I'd better leave him to read. Apologies once- Oh! Hmm. <sighs> have to talk to Blout. Hello, Blout. You, little human. That's right. You must be very hungry, Blout. <laughs> That's a very, very big plate you've got there. Blout, big, hungry. Eat it all. Why don't you ask Zloth nicely once more if you can eat what's on his plate? Zloth not let me, and Zloth make Chain Lightning. You that mean sucks. he can defend himself? Hmm, as long as he's reading that book, you can't use your hands? Uh -huh. Interesting. Well, you are one smart guy, Blout. Blout? <laughs> uh, can't you get Zloth to stop reading? Zloth always reading. Can you make them Don't fight? I have no idea. And there's nothing that stops him reading? According to this, I have to make a trap. I just have to figure Zloth out how. Zloth like drink cocktails. Ah. Ogre cocktails. Okay. And then what? He drunk very quick. You mean he can't hold his liquor, and he gets too drunk to keep reading? Hmm, interesting. Do you get drunk fast too, Blout, like Zloth does? No! <laughs> Blout drink much more than Zloth. Blout real main ogre. <laughs> but you share the same body. Yeah. So? Oh my god, this is just so weird. Oh, nothing. I could make you an ogre cocktail. How would you like that? Blow like beer. Yeah, I know, but the cocktail's mainly for Zloth. Why? Oh my gosh. So he gets drunk. And then? Let's you eat. Then you can chow down on that snack there. Ooh, 
Okay. I love that I'm talking to him and conspiring against his half brother right there, and he's not saying a thing. Right. What makes a good ogre cocktail? Alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. And what else? An umbrella. An ogre cocktail. He's reading. He doesn't mind. Alcohol? <laughs> and umbrella. Oh my gosh. And what kind of alcohol? Wine? Vodka? Whatever. Must blow your head off. So, <laughs> high octane alcohol in a glass with an umbrella. Classy. Oh my gosh. Little human can look in cave. Yay. Do you have the ingredients? Uh -huh. You and your half brother. Don't you guys get along too well? Love is stupid. Uh huh. Always reading. Never fun. Never break things. Oh my god. He's more the intellectual type. Sloth, not real man. Sloth never had gold. I bet he's not talking about those small paper umbrellas. I heard that. Probably not. Oh my god. I have to leave. My stomach's grumbling. Hungry! I'm getting hungry myself too. Oh, so that he heard exactly. Young sir, the blout gets little humor bait cocktail for sloth. Really? What uh. a delightful surprise. I thank you most cordially. No problem, fatso. Oh my god. He meant you. So, I can now actually look at this. A piece of hose. Over a meter long and anything but clean. I don't even want to think about what the ogres might use it for. I don't either. But hey. We'll take it. A tied up linen sack. The contents probably need to be protected from birds and rats. <laughs> no problem, Fatso. Indeed. The sack is full to the brim with apples. Mm, mm, apples. They're all damp and rotten. They smell like they're fermenting. I guess that works. I can't inspect this one, though. I would have expected a larger cocktail glass. This one's more human sized. Is that going to be enough to get Zloth drunk? Apples, I guess you can use them for vodka. PC crowd would lose their spaghetti hearing this. Yeah, this is hilarious. All right, so. That seems to be some kind of storage cupboard. Okay, anything in here I can use? A small, colorful cocktail umbrella. <laughs> Who thought that there'd be a market for these here in the wildlands? That's hilarious. All right, so I can't inspect whatever this is. This club is almost a meter and a half long and probably weighs a hundred weight. I wouldn't like getting one of those on my head no, or anywhere else not for that really. matter. Okay, so in order to make the cocktail, I have to go to the crypt. To the ogre camp. Okay. Interesting. So, sack of apples. Into the press. OMG, that head. <laughs> I like my helmet. Not really, but it talks. So, let's do it. Mmm, tasty. Fermented apple juice. But I'd better not, not drink the it. the helmet. There was a head on a stick. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot her name. I'll leave what's left of the apples in the press. I've got what I want. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a zombie. She's still alive. See, I can now take her head. Time to take you to meet your body. Yahoo! Could you just pull this cocktail out for me? 
Gross. Uh, no. So now I have a head. Just there was nothing great. else of any interest in it. All Not right. That I find pom poms interesting. Up to the TP. Sits nice and firm. Whatever's in the pot will evaporate, condense, and be drawn off in the hose. Yay. Alright, open the pot. We're gonna put the fermented well, okay. apple juice. Ah, something's happening. And done. The bowl has filled up with an almost clear liquid. Yay. The alcohol's not strong enough yet for an ogre cocktail, but I can distill it again. Okay, so we're gonna distill it again. And again. That looks a lot better already. And once more. And again and again, pretty much. That ought to do. Awesome. Alright, so now we have to actually set the trap. We're gonna go back. To the ogres. The ogres. Alright, combine container of alcohol and the glass. Now just missing the sophisticated decoration. Yay, so umbrella. High proof alcohol and a cocktail oh umbrella. God. Voila! One ogre cocktail. So now I have to give him the ogre cocktail. I've got a cocktail for you, Zloth. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Wait a minute. You're trying to trick me, aren't you? Hmm? You want to get me drunk so I can't read anymore? Us? Never. But you won't get me like that. I'll just take oh tiny my sips. A little then cup. Then I won't get drunk and can continue reading. <laughs> ah! I'm blind! Uh-oh. Did you finish reading? No, I... Impressive. Gross, but impressive. Yeah, that works. Brown still hungry. Oh, great. What? Hungry! Brout must hunt! Okay. So now what? Um. Hello, Blout. You, little human. That's now we right. need him to move. And how do you get on with hunting? Have you ever caught anything? Not yet. Oh my gosh. But soon. So what he can't even hunt, hunt, right? Everything. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you think you can lend me your plate? You don't really need it right now. Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> Why not? Eat again soon. Plout, great hunter. At the very most, you're a fat hunter. You couldn't tell the difference between a partridge and a wild boar. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. All right. I have to leave. My stomach's grumbling. Hungry! Okay, so I have the string and the pom-pom. Nice! Now I've got a pom-pom on a string. Uh, learn blout by clicking. Okay, then. Here goes nothing. Okay, then. Let's try it. This is gonna be horrible. Yeah! Colorful, fluffy bunny! 
Do stop it, Blood. Something's wrong here. Just got to break shell. We've got to break the shell. <laughs> bye bye. A fluffy bunny, I presume. How can anyone be so stupid? Works for me. <laughs> Go into the corner and be ashamed of yourself. I'll come up with something. Oh my god. <laughs> well. The way's clear. Oh, now we could get the shield. Oh, the shell is broken, I guess. I know, right? Sweet. Thank you very much for getting me out of there. It's no fun swimming around in hot gravy all day. Yeah, then I bet. Again, it's also no fun being constantly hit by swords and axes. I hope you're not a warrior. Me? Nah, I just want to look like one. If you only want to look like one, then that's fine. Just don't fight. The pen is mightier than the sword. And hurts less. less. Oh my gosh. Still an especially brave shield, eh? I don't believe it! Marks! <laughs> Who would have thought that we'd all be together again? Are you looking forward to it? Oh yeah, terrific. Listen, well, it's one thing they're to friends. Kidnapped, but does this dumbass have to come along? <laughs> Still the same old you, eh? This is hilarious. Can sword talk as well? Vladdy? Of course! Are we going to get him, too? Yes. Oh, no way. Hopefully he's calmed down over the last few years. Uh-oh. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, looks like I'm done here. Now where am I going? Is a commonest sword? I have no idea. Hello, world. Hi, Cyril. How's it going? Okay, so now, can I hook them up? Look what I've got here. Really want him to have a stolen mustache. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Bodies. Oh. Yes, yes, a bit more. What belongs together is coming together. This is splendid, but what sort of skull was He's been attending to your body while you were away. That was very nice. Nice of... Oh, hello. Oh my god. I'm Gulliver. With Elvis hair. Esther. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nate. Okay. I need my body. Urgently. <laughs> I don't want to hear. Please All get right. my body working. Then, I tell you what, I won't only tell you where the sword is kept, I'll also give you some armor. How okay. considerate. You've given me <laughs> something <laughs> much better. Okay, so now what? Uh, broken bellows with glue, so glue. Right. I'll smear the edge of the hole with glue. Just missing a patch now. Okay, so now scrap of leather. That ought to do it. I'll use a piece of leather to seal the hole. Perfect. The bellows are usable again. There you hey, go. Gulliver. Have some lungs. Ah, the living one. Um. Hey Gulliver, time to take a deep breath. 
simply fantastic. I'll be able to run marathons with this lung. <laughs> Thanks. This now is wow. I just need a heart. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Uh... And you and Esther? We're in love. Of course you are. Great. Yeah. We want to start a family. That's right. Wonderful. <laughs> We're going to call our first child Nate. Oh God, no. Excuse me. Oh no. No, 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 no. There's just nothing which might pass for a heart in all this desolation. Then you'll have to keep looking. My body definitely needs a heart. Oh, darling. Hello. Getting back to the basics of scientific fact? That wrinkly thing there is dead. <laughs> Don't talk about my sweetheart's heart like that. Wait, what? Well, she's a zombie. She's dead already. Well so I I'm like, she has a heart she's camera. not using, right? Hey, where are you Just going? Just too bizarre. They left. So, a pile of junk... <laughs> with a patched up bellows and a dead, shriveled up heart is supposed to be brought to life with a bolt of lightning. So... Sounds really thought through. I have to go outside and talk to them. This is really strange. That, that's for sure. I don't even know what hey, to Gulliver. think anymore. Ah, the living one. Uh, what now? So in your opinion, what happens now? Lightning will strike the antenna, and the electrical pulse will bring my body to life. My little honey bun is a genius! <laughs> How could I have doubted it? Only it doesn't look stormy. No. We can wait. Oh, great. But Wilbur can't. Can't you just tell me where the sword is, please? I'm sorry. The bolt of lightning was clearly a part of our deal. Once it strikes, I'll help you. Great. Yeah, okay. Couldn't be simpler. Goody. So, what's... Mm, nothing at all, I'm... Then I have to help... I've got to get all going. Alright, so I guess Free. I had to help with heartbeat. lightning. That sort of thing. Ah, don't let me stop you. Alright, so to the TV. The ogre was talking about chain lightning. Yeah, but I don't think the ogre is going to want to help me after I pushed him off the ledge. Oh, thanks for the following host. Gaming for days. How's it going? Yoo-hoo. Hi. The sleep. Did he apologize? Yep. That is good. So at least one problem is solved. Yeah, but I reckon I've still got some way to go before I can free Wilbur. I am not talking about you or your friend. I am talking about important <laughs> problems. Unsettling okay, then. problems. Oh, yeah? I am out of mushrooms. Okay. Mushrooms? The ghost mushrooms. When I smoke them, I can get in touch with my forefathers. I bet. Could you sort some out for me? Right now I'm installing MW2 on PC. What's MW2? Maybe. What do I get for it? Yes, he wants rooms. <laughs> but I helped you with the Modern Warfare 2. Oh, okay, that's cool. And that was very nice of you. Very Get nice. Me the mushrooms, or I won't help you anymore. How rude. Well, maybe I don't need your help anymore. Oh, hush. Yes, but yes, you do. You will. You need them. Okay. Let's see if Gulliver knows about the mushrooms. <laughs> hey, Gulliver. Ah. Do you know anything about ghost mushrooms? Yes. They're small purple mushrooms with green spots. The Minotaur regularly buys them from the boss. And do you know where you can find them? You'll have to ask the boss. Okay. I've got to get going. 
breathe, feel my heartbeat, that sort of thing. Ah, don't let me stop you. So sad. Hey, Mr. Hey, boss. boss. Ah, the living one. Do you have the vaguest idea where I might find ghost mushrooms? You won't have any luck here. I'm sorry. Okay. But the Minotaur Shaman figured he got his mushrooms out of the crypt here. That's true, but he got too greedy. In the past, he would only pick up one mushroom a week. Recently, he's been taking five a day. Oh, wow. The mushrooms have all been harvested. It's going to take a month or two until the new ones have grown. Lovely. So that means there isn't one single ghost mushroom to be found? I'm sorry. Then I've got a problem. Okay, so now what? Better get going. See ya. Take care, and remember, we, the undead, are your friends. Rancid smelling, dead friends. Okay, so, um... Mix the paint. As long as the red isn't liquid, it can't be mixed with other colors. Okay. So, can you paint the mushroom? That's what I'm going to try to do right now. But I need powder. Okay, I'll put the earth into the mortar. And with a bit of elbow grease, now we have a fine red powder made from the red earth. All right, now let's try it again. As long as the red isn't liquid, it can't be mixed oh. with other colors. Oh, I'm missing something. I have to go back to the ogre camp to get a flower. I need me some flowers. The blooms are a luminous. Thank you. Great. Okay. Now I've got blue fingers. Blue blossoms. On the mortar. Okay. So I have to go back again. I have to go to the TP. Let's see. Blossoms have been pulverized, and what's left is a good blue paste. Yay. Now I need some water. And we all know where there's some water right now. Um, right there. So now we have paint. Fair enough. I'll tip the powder just at the edge of the Sea of Tears. Then stir it round a bit. And pretty soon we have a useful red paint. Okay, so now I need to combine that and that. Red and blue make purple. So I have purple. I painted go. the mushrooms completely in purple. They're not going to pass as ghost mushrooms, though. The green spots are missing, and the disgusting smell, too. All right, then. So now I have a lilac mushroom. Now what? paint um 
Yellow and blue make Kapow green. Fruit Loops. Oh my god. I want Fruit Loops. Hunky dory. And that gives me wonderful purple mushrooms with green spots. I'm getting hungry. I don't know what I want to eat. Smell, I guess you can use the apples. I don't have any apples. I'm gonna see if they can help me. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Alright, um... You guys know all about unpleasant odors. Of course. Do you have any idea how I can make these mushrooms smell musty and rotten? Oh god. Take a whiff of that. Ooh, that'll work, thanks. You're welcome. So gross. I've gotta get So going. now I'm done. Breathe, feel my heartbeat, that sort of thing. Huh. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, but they're um, apples, though. They w we don't want them to smell like apples. <laughs> we need a musty, old smell, I guess. Alright, well, here's your mushroom. Look, ghost mushrooms. Aroma they oh, have. the plants in the neighborhood are dead now. <laughs> right? Yoo-hoo! Give me lightning. Uh. A bolt of lightning has to hit the antenna at the crypt. Can't you as the rainmaker sort out the appropriate weather? I can summon the rain, of course. But lightning, that's another matter. How's that then? It's another dance. Very difficult, very strenuous. I am too old for that. Can you teach me how to do it? You have brought me the mushroom, so I will help you. The dance steps are written here. You are welcome to try your luck. And if I get this dance right, if the gods are willing, we'll get the right kind of weather? No. The dance is an insult to the gods. They will try to stop you and throw lightning bolts at you. Fantastic. That is exactly what you want. And now, please excuse me. I want to try the new mushrooms. Okay. Catch you later. May the wind blow your way.